Oostberg man killed in early morning cycle crash. Active COVID cases decline, facility investigations increase. House fire on Huron Avenue destroyed. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Friday, August 21st, 2020. 11 new positive test returns among Sheboygan County residents received in the last 24 hours has raised the total confirmed coronavirus cases to 912, but 13 recoveries have lowered the active case load by two. The 84, the lowest, to 84, the lowest number since 80, or 68 were reported on Friday, July 10th. An additional person has been added to the number hospitalized since Wednesday, now at eight. And with 212 negative test results received, the positive rate in the county is just under 5%. In Wisconsin, another 740 persons results were positive since Wednesday, 7.5% of all returns raising the state total so far to 68,233. Seven more persons have died of COVID-19 in the last 24 hours, a total of 1,067 deceased. 39 more persons needed hospital treatment for their symptoms of the disease, resulting in patient count of 388. 121 were in the ICU and 373 were on ventilators as of midday Thursday. With Thursday's weekly facility-wide investigations report, the county DPH lists 17 investigations now underway. Eight of those are long-term facility care facilities among the, those identified Pine Haven on Haven Drive campus, Sheboygan Senior Community, Progressive Health Services, Sunny Ridge, Rocky Knoll, and Sheboygan Health Services. One healthcare facility investigation is ongoing, and that could be either a hospital, clinic, dialysis center, hospice, or in-home care. Six workplaces are being investigated in two settings, such as an adult or child care center, restaurant, event space, or religious setting are also being investigated. At the same point last week, 14 such investigations were underway. The State Department of Health Services has un unveiled an online decision tool for individuals and families designed to help in deciding the risk of contracting COVID-19 from various activities. Seven people are without a home after fire breaks out on Thursday afternoon in Sheboygan. Sheboygan Fire Battalion Chief Michael Lubert says dispatch received a 911 call around 3.30 Thursday afternoon, reporting a house fire on 1,000th block of Huron Avenue. Fire crews were on the scene in three minutes, faced with heavy smoke and flames inside and outside of the home. The first firefighters on the scene were able to knock down the flames to keep the fire from spreading to surrounding buildings. The people who lived in the home were able to safely get out while a neighbor called 911. The Red Cross is helping the seven people who were displaced and the cause of the fire is under investigation and the damage is estimated at $70,000. An Oostberg man is killed in motorcycle crash in the village of Kohler on Thursday morning. The Kohler Police Department was called to CTHA at CTHPP around 5.45 a.m. and found a motorcycle laying on its side with the engine still running and warm to the touch. A press release from the department says two witnesses had seen the accident, but were not sure where the victim was. 
A search for the driver was conducted and the victim was found lying in a ditch below the Sheboygan River Bridge. The name of the 27-year-old man who died in the crash is not being released pending notification of the family. Wisconsin's unemployment rate is dropping as more people return to work after the ec economic shutdown from earlier this year. Unemployment for July was 7%, an improvement from 8.6% in June, and the state's Department of Workforce Development estimates that the private sector created 25,000 jobs for the month. That is still more than twice as high as a year ago at 3.4%, and that is 216,000 fewer jobs this time in 2019. Wisconsin's market, job market is better compared to the rest of the nation, and the national unemployment rate is 10.2%. Last year, an estimated 580,000 hunters roamed Wisconsin woods and fields, hoping to bag a white-tailed deer. Part of the, white, the population annual event is the Wisconsin gun deer hunt for hunters with disabilities. And those hoping to participate must contact a hunt sponsor to sign up before September 1st. A sponsor is a landowner that offers disabled hunters access to their property. And 76 sponsors have enrolled over 70,000 acres of land across 41 counties for this year's hunt which will take place October 3rd to 11th. Eligible hunters may sign up for one property per year, must possess a gun deer license, and also contact sponsors directly to sign up for a hunt. And finally, infrastructure improvements related to the construction of the Aurora facility will require a full closure of Union Avenue from its intersection with Taylor Drive to the Acuity Flag entrance beginning Monday the 24th. Access to points west of there will be via West University Avenue, past the UW Green Bay Sheboygan campus, and Director of Public Works David Beeble said the work to install sanitary sewer and other utilities will last until mid-November. And the future closures of Taylor Drive and Union Avenue intersection will also take place during that time. Once the intersection is completely closed, Union Avenue will have limited access depending upon the work phases. Taylor Drive traffic will be detoured at Indiana Avenue on the north and Washington Avenue on the south using South Business Drive. And that is our report for today. Join me again next week for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.